Good <laughs> vibe. <laughs> Alright, we're at 80% of poisonous cunt. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Keith. <laughs> I'm Harry. I'm Tally. My name's Amandine. And Alexia is invisible today. Not here, yeah. but also here. Yeah, she escaped. In spirit. spirit. Whose idea was it to form the band? Mm. We just wanted to have a jam with Keith, mm -hmm. and then it, it turned out to be sick, so we just kept going. Yeah. And Were you like all musicians slogan. beforehand? Yeah. Wow. Well, no, well, everyone but me, actually. Yeah. Everybody but you had done bands before. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But you've done musical really stuff as well. Yeah, done a bit. Yeah, silly. we basically ex turned up to have a jam, thinking this is going to be a jam, and then we ended up writing at least one of the songs that we did tonight was written at that jam, and the vibe was great, so we just went, this yeah, is too good to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. Right, the name. The name. Who uh, came up with the name? Uh, there was a, like, a bit of a list of names, <laughs> but uh, uh, Keith had was... like a very organised list on his iPhone. It was a pretty wild list. Yeah. It was like <laughs> some good names on there. But Poisonous Cunt sort of stood out. A bit. Yeah, yeah, I think we when as soon as we got to Poisonous Cunt on the list, we're all like, fucking hell! <laughs> I put it on there thinking so nobody's gonna go for this, but that was what everybody wanted. And it's actually from um, it's from an Irvin Welsh character. Irvin Welsh's books are all set in the same universe. This person appears a few times in his books, but it's a uh, a person who's a poisonous cunt, whose nickname is the poisonous cunt, but they don't know it. Everybody else calls him. <laughs> Where was your first gig? Uh, it was a squat party in Wandsworth. Oh. Fuck, I can't remember the name of the squat. It was meant to be the Black Sheep Bookshop eviction party, which yeah. is where Alexia lived and the squat crew that I now live with, sort of like the residue of that. Um, they ended up getting more time in that building, so. Uh, they moved their eviction party to this old. I mean, how it's to describe it? It's called the Artesian it? Well, and it's in Wandsworth. It's in Wandsworth. Yeah. It, it looks like an old brothel. It yeah. was fucking wicked, like. Yeah, yeah, it was sick. It's just some crazy pub that somebody has spent like loads of money to really do up, so it was really fancy inside. Yeah, played oh, at yeah. midnight, and it was. Yeah. Everyone was pissed Off enough the... to enjoy it. Really. When was that? I think we had how about two songs that? and like three covers. <laughs> yeah, it was a short set yeah. that night. <laughs> it, that was at the beginning of 2017. We we did our first jam in the January, and I think it was about six weeks after that, wasn't it? Less, yeah. wait, I think that yeah. was in February. Yeah. Cool. Describe your music. Uh, it's a bit of a mishmash, really. Yeah. It's influences. Um, it's a bit sludgy, a bit hardcore y. It's really boring doing one sort of music and a lot of bands yeah, of just do yeah, yeah. power violence or hardcore or sludge or punk or pop punk and we just decided to mash them all together. Mm. Well we didn't have much of an idea of what we wanted to do when mm. we started playing together so it's kind of like everyone writes is part of the writing process so either someone will come with lyrics or a riff uh, or an idea and uh, those tend to be quite different, like depending on who brings that to the table. So. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow it all turns into poisonous cunt. Yeah. <laughs> you two of the Balkans would split. How did that come about? With, wait, no, with Toot Sweet. The, with Toot Sweet. Yeah. How did that come we also did a split tape with Toot Sweet, which is maybe why you were a little bit confused there. But oh, the, the name, right. the band, uh, was, was called that? Toot Sweet. Oh right, okay. We jumped on it. Keith, yeah. Keith had a, a Flowers of Flesh and Blood tour booked. Yeah. And we'd been a band for about two minutes, and uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted to go on holiday. And they were, they were all like a bunch of old men with loads of responsibilities and worries. And they were like, oh, I don't, I'm not sure I want to go to the Balkans, even though it's a book tour. Uh, no disrespect, I fucking love flowers, obviously. I'm just being a dick. I've not slept for a long time. But, um, I was kind of like, well, you know what, I reckon we can get the time off. And uh, that sounds like something really stupid and crazy. So we should go for yeah. it. And it was both those things. Oh, it was amazing. pretty good. When, when Toot Sweet showed up in, in Macedonia, and we just went running up to them like, <laughs> like so excited. And they were just like, oh, fuck. Oh, like, what the fuck have we got ourselves into? But by, yeah. by the end of it, we were like, 
peas in a pod. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have been better. I've got to say, everybody in that part of the world was fantastic. They really looked after us. It was except the most the, insane except, week except of my life. Except the Nazis who've slashed oh, our yes, tyres <laughs> in Macedonia. You ran into some Nazis. Yeah, yeah. they like yeah. followed us back to the promoter's house and we were all just... scared them off. We were literally we were in the in the promoter's mum's house. Just After like, the gig. Actually, we were listening to um, Dead Kennedy's Nazi punks fuck off. No, because they, they turned their up. version of... Oh, was it? Kind of, yeah, yeah. And then we... Um, because they turned up at the gig and just sort of stood there like this. Like, yeah, they just watched from outside. Like They were quite yeah. intimidated. And then we were like, oh, like there was nowhere for us to... Uh, 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 we didn't really dress up much tonight. It kind of like depends on how we're feeling nowadays. At the start, we take it a bit more seriously. And uh, there was no way for us to get changed. And Alexia, the drummer, was wearing a, a dog mask uh, and nothing else really. <laughs> and sort of pressing her, her bosoms to the window, to the with a lot of like very confused young Nazis, like <laughs> don't really know how to react to this. Yeah, over, like yeah they didn't <laughs> like it anyway. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I don't like it, scary. but also very confused about what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah, that was that really. Then, so yeah, then, basically, just, sorry. Well, no, we were just like chilling there, just like all thinking it, had, thinking it was over, having a nice time, and then we just hear his mum shouting something in Macedonian, <laughs> and uh, we come running out. And she scared him off. Like they basically they'd followed us back, come back, like slashed our tires. And and then, or actually off. won because she'd scared them yeah, off yeah, and, yeah. They, and then she was like started shouting and then they ran off. What was her name? Blossom or something. Snow it drops. was like Snow Snowbells. Snow Snowbells. Snow 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 yeah. snow yeah. It was like her name translated to Snowbell. She was sick. Hardest she woman was in Macedonia. the gnarliest old yeah, woman. Sounds like good. Makes a mean yeah. Azar as well. Oh yeah, yeah she made us like loads of homemade food to take away, like to eat that night and then to take away. She was a great host. Scared off Nazis. Like spoke barely any English, like had no teeth, but like the loveliest song. Smoked like a chimney. Yeah. Yeah, Stayed like up lighting night. cigarettes off each other. She didn't sleep, like we were there like, all night and she was just like up in the morning. Yeah, in just like position. force <laughs> feeding outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she, the, those guys, even though we didn't probably, they were the only people that were just nasty. Uh, but everyone yeah. else was fucking incredible that we met on that tour. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I highly recommend it. More bands should go to Macedonia Definitely. and Serbia and that part of the world. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. You'll write some lyrics. Mostly Amandine. It's a bit of a mix though. Mm. As I said, when it comes to writing songs, it's like someone will come with an idea or a set of lyrics or, um, a, riff. or a riff. Or a yeah, I mean, that is a bit changeable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically like, we'll write a song and be like, yeah, this is pretty cuntish. <laughs> yeah. Just bring yeah. it to the table. Like. I'd say it's about 60, 60, 40, like maybe. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. The writing process is really interesting in this band because almost every other band I've ever been in and most other bands have got very set like these are the guys who write the music mm -hmm. and then the other people don't. But that's not that what happens in this band at all. This is like everybody yeah, has like done a... some stuff to yeah, put the set together. Bit of a which free is really for all nice. of, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Really cool you released uh Emina Enema Proceed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How did yes. that go? Pretty sick. I mean, I think I think we've developed our sound a little bit since then. Um, so we've re-recorded most of the songs on that EP. For, yeah. To put on our album, and it sounds way more hench now. <laughs> so we should be releasing that album. Yeah. The, really the soon point of that it. recording was to to have something to uh, to send to like promoters mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, and so we had something out there and our mate Tom who works at DSI, Tom from Shot, um, was like super up for helping us out and recording them and did it in like a weekend. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure we didn't sleep that, I mean we played Not gigs much. every uh, night of that fucking We did. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. mental, yeah. It was fun but um, overstretched. But we're still getting the odd sale of that EP, but uh, one of the things about it is uh, just as we were putting it on Bandcamp, uh, the Grenfell disaster happened, so uh, oh, right, we yeah. basically gave all the money to Grenfell that, was very cool. that we made, which yeah. wasn't very much, but we felt it was yeah. important to do something. It was good. That, was, yeah, that was a good gesture. Yeah, horrible sweet, situation. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Terrible. Uh, 
That's, uh, did you have you released anything else? Uh, um, no, we've got um, an album in the works though, so that's yeah. when is that pretty out? close to done. It's record, it's recorded. It's good. To, it's pretty much good to get any record labels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one put it out. Put it out. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, like optimistically, I reckon it'll be out by April, which will mark a year of having recorded it, uh, and it's a long time. It's We've taken time. our sweet, well, we and others have taken sweet time <laughs> to uh, finish this. But off. once it comes out, woo! It, it will be worth waiting for. The girl. <laughs> so when do you reckon it's going to be out? Oh yeah, hopefully by April. Yeah. Yeah. April. Yeah. yeah. If it's any longer than that, then I'm just Could probably will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If longer than that, the Fedger album is going to come out first. Yeah. That's definitely going to come out first. Mm. It's mm. nearly done. <laughs> But it's only eight minutes. So, you know. Let's say April. Go on, it's not an album. Day, day. <laughs> Fucking is. Ten no. songs. <laughs> we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen by April. Yeah. Songs can talk. Songs. Songs? Yeah. yeah. Underwear. Underwear. Is that a question? There's a yeah, yeah. Thongs? What, what was that about? It, was that something we put on Facebook? I feel like that's something... Uh, I've seen, i just seen it on your Facebook page. There was something about it. Yeah, I think that was in uh, uh, as a reaction to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a, a trial in Ireland. I actually, that was uh, Alexia, who's not here. I could explain this much better than I could. But, uh, was that about the rugby players? No, I believe it, it's a, it was um, a trial for rape yeah. in which uh, a woman's uh, underwear was introduced into evidence. Okay. by the defence mm -hmm. uh, on the basis that she'd been dressed provocatively yeah, yeah. age old oh, yeah but mm. why any like in any you, you know real serious country that's supposed to have a decent justice system that exactly. is still coming up coming as up something that is disgusting yeah, yeah. rape trials is disgusting <clears throat> save Reginald save Tide Mill <laughs> yeah uh, I mean, it's unrelated to the band sort of question, but uh, it's worth talking about. Uh, Tidemore Gardens is a community garden in Deptford that used to be part of a school called the Tide Mill School. Uh, and it um, has been run by the community for about 20 years now. Um, have it, like The school was moved and uh, it's run by a mix of was everyone's a volunteer is a mix of um Deptford locals um elder ladies and squatter punks sort of planting vegetables and having barbecues and open air cinema and uh, two days ago after a long fight and an occupation uh it was the, the trees have finally been cut down and uh peabody but lewis from council has sold it on to peabody which is a, a housing estate company. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of them, yes. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's just about, it's, um, it's yet another space uh, in London that's been uh, sold off for the profit to, to, um, uh, to the detriment of the community and against the wishes of the community. Reginald, Reginald House, which is the, the row of uh, council housing on the end of the street where the Tiber was, is yet to be evicted uh, out of all the residents there, only one person is in favour of the destruction of their house and the relocation of, of their families. Uh, so if anyone has any time to lend support or money to that fight, that's still going on. But unfortunately, the garden uh, was lost this week. Uh, Politicians don't care. Yep. They don't listen to nobody. No. They no. just do where, where all the money goes. That's yeah. where they are. That's always the case with them. Especially nowadays, man. You just got to fight as much as you can, where you can, when you can. Just try and put any blockers in the way when stuff like that is going on. <clears throat> a lot of uh, a lot of punk bands and underground bands have forgotten this these days, but we try and do it as much as possible. That's good. Yes, that's very good. You wanted to play um, Balta Festival. Is it Balta? <laughs> 2019. Why? That's a question for the drummer again. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a good, a good party time. Yeah. Harry's playing. 
My other band is playing. Yeah, where is that? <laughs> Much to the disappointment of everyone else. Mm. <laughs> um, where is that? I don't even know. It's in Wales. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's in Wales okay. somewhere. In a, is it a big festival then? Or? In, in festival terms, I think it's kind of small. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, a like few thousand, upcoming maybe. UK festival. It yeah. will soon yeah. be. Yeah, I think it's like quite boom rapidly growing, yeah. but okay. it is still fairly small compared what to like. What kind of music is that then? Uh, uh, it's mostly electronic music, I think, but they've got um, yeah. like a, a punk stage there as well. Okay. Alexia went last year and just absolutely loved it and was really trying to get us on the bill, so it might happen. She really wanted a free get ticket, lucky. so mm -hmm. if anyone can she provide did. her with one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, we want to play any festival we can so we can go. Yeah. <laughs> Good festival. Uh, yeah. Bad ones as well. Uh, yeah, just as long as free booze. Once booze. you get paid, that's. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. No payment. No payment. Just a free ever. ticket and maybe oh, God, a, no, a beer or paid. two. Oh, Christ. I heard that from a lot of bands that don't get no money. Oh, Did no, you get paid tonight? Yeah. Or the gig tonight? Nobody's given us any money know. yet. In general, we maybe. Yeah, it's not. They'll probably give us a bit. There's not a lot. You go uh, travel. We lose money gigs. on the. We yeah. lose yeah. money Being on in a band shows. is very yeah. expensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. But Since we do it because it's fun, yeah, not to exactly. make yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah, be on money as well, like energy. But if you wanted to make money, we'd write shitty pop songs. Yeah. But we wouldn't even do that, we'd just give up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do something that makes money. <laughs> Now, when the album comes out, we'll all be retiring to our individual mansions with the swimming pools yeah. to just, you know, take cocaine for the rest of our That's lives. That's it, man. Yeah. We'll be doing documentaries about you in 20 years. Yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> Behind the music. Yeah. <laughs> this is a question for the ladies. What does Three feminism mean to you? What does that say? Feminism. It, to me, it's like equality and people being treated the same like regardless of their gender or uh, how they you know present themselves I think yeah I agree yeah. so in that way what, it's not what's inside your pants really sh is so irrelevant to how you should be treated and treat people mm -hmm. I think also that for, like as well as it, that that is the, the the definition I would use as well but I think a lot of what feminism it means like personally to me and to people I see around me is like being able to empower yourself to feel a bit less powerless. Uh, I mean, yeah, in when the odds are stacked against you, sort of thing. Yeah, I think it's acknowledging the imbalance that still exists. Yeah, like, and, and supporting one another in, yeah, in yeah. that. Um, yeah, trying to readdress that. Okay. Which is why it should be intersectional. Sorry. We should support mm. each other. Yeah, of course. On a slightly related note, we did once um, sort of have a chat about the fact that you know it's kind of unusual to see a band with four females, one male, you know, presented as, and um, we kind of thought a lot of people outside the band were making much more of a big deal of it than we were, and we just thought, well, we're all just punks. Yeah, just people you know, in the band. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what mm. is inside of our pants. We're just exactly. really good mates and do our music and really love doing it. So, yeah. That's what it's, about. it's not really about feminism, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool, <laughs> there's a comment, but there you go. What's your take on May and Corbyn? Politicians in particular. <laughs> <laughs> of all sorts. I personally have no faith in the political system at all no. anymore. So. Mm. Nor do I. Corbyn talks a good game and he seems to have had uh, a, an exceptionally good track record as an MP of standing up for the right things, but whether or not he can actually make any changes to a British establishment which is completely against him uh, is very questionable in my view. It's another story, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, I guess, like, being Prime Minister is a job with a job description so no matter who fills that job they kind of have to fill the job description and all do the same and thing the, i mean yeah so yeah. they do nothing will change yeah i don't think so but, uh, there are yeah. ways around it a little slyly yeah. <laughs> there's a way around it <laughs> <laughs> burn it down <laughs> so much
the more independently you can live of these systems, the better, as a general rule. What's next for you guys? Release Bed. the fucking album! Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then, big and old then nap. Release, release the fucking album. Yeah. But yeah, with the album, album, we've got some shit. We've got, we've got some videos ready to go with them. And we've got, like, some gigs lined up and, you know, sick artwork for the, for it and stuff like that. So we've got everything ready to go. We just need to get it out. And then... <laughs> Yeah, a few more gigs and stuff. Where's your next gig? Glasgow! Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. oh, first time one fest in, in Glasgow on the 15th of May. Yeah. Where is it? We're in Glasgow. Uh, it's at 13th Note. It's at the 13th Note. Which is venue. Sick well, vegan venue. It bounces venue. around a lot of different places, yeah. but it's. I played the 13th Note about 20 years ago, the first time. And it's great. Yeah, it's like a, mates like a sick little oh, yeah. basement yeah. venue. <laughs> Yeah, and then the day after that we're playing in Hartlepool uh, to help us get back down the road um, <laughs> for our mates. Uh, and because they've just got a Morley's. Mostly because they have a Morley's. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna need those hash browns. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah. South London Morley's in the north of England. Yeah. Yeah. They heard we were coming, built a Morley's, got the hash browns in. <laughs> we're there. I wouldn't go if there was one. <laughs> get some haggis in for you. Vegan well, haggis. the 13th haggis. note does vegan haggis. Yeah, oh, bad, yes. Actually. We'll definitely drink Whatever some iron brew when we're up there. Oh, I want to try one of them deep fried pizzas as well. Yeah. Deep yeah. fried Mars like Deep fried Mars bars were well good. Mm, yeah, Have you tried it? Yeah, yeah they have them in New good. Zealand. Is it? You mean? I've heard they've got deep fried yeah. pills as well. Yeah. I'm not really into pills, but what? that sounds like an experience. Fucking. Who's doing deep fried pills? Anyone will deep fry anything, do you know what I mean? Yeah, literally in Glasgow. Got some pingers, can you deep fry them for us, lads? <laughs> Somebody was actually trying to deep fry anyone a house up there, apparently. Anyone would, yeah, just go, just go to anyone in the street and like, oh, hey, mate, get your fryer out, mate, I've got some pingers for you. <laughs> Ladies and kids, thank you so much for speaking. Thank you. Cheers, John. Thank you kindly. Nice one.